hey everyone, I was really struggling to figure this one out. How do I have a calculator um, available for this activity on the Google slide? Well, I searched and searched, and if you found something better than this, please let me know, because I, I found squat. So basically, what I have done is used a trick that Hannah taught me and using the Windows calculator. I had to sort of combine little tips and tricks here, but it works. So first, before you do anything, you know, I'm on the slide where I want to use the calculator. You can be anywhere, but go down to the Windows Start button. And under C for calculator, there you go. It's going to pop it up onto your screen. And there's a little button here, or you can use the shortcut of the Alt button and the up arrow. But when I press it, what it does is it locks it into place on my screen. It's always going to stay in the front. Now, all right, now I have the issue of there's all this garbly gook all over my screen, and that's really distracting when I'm trying to teach the students. So my second trick to do is to install an extension called the Google Full Screen Interactive or the Full Screen Interactive Google Slides. It's one of the allowed extensions that you can have, and there's a link to it with this video where you found this video. So again, this is where you go to turn on extensions that you've already installed. So I'm going to choose this Google Full Screen Interactive. And look, all my garbly gook has pretty much gone away. I can move the calculator where I want it to be, and I can even get rid of a little bit more. I can get rid of this toolbar at the top by hitting this arrow. So even less distractions. So now I can go ahead and use my calculator, 0 0.05 plus 0 0.01 equals to do my activity. And I can, when I click into the slide to update the answer, nothing changes. When I change from slide to slide, all I have to do is clear my calculator and do it again. So now, if I, if you want to have me do this again, I can. Let's close it all up. I close the calculator. I'm going to hit escape. And I'm back to my Google Slides presentation. Okay? So here's what I did. First, I'm going to activate my calculator. There we go. Now I'm going to press this button or the Alt Up. Either way, Alt in my up arrow works just as well. I'm going to get it out of the way a little bit because I now need to go up to my extension, which, by the way, I've already installed the extension. You can just Google Full Screen Interactive Google Slides or find the link where you found this video. So here we go. Bang. And sometimes one of the quirks that I haven't fully figured out, sometimes my slide sort of view wants to pop up, sometimes it doesn't. Either way. So it's there, it's not there, whatever. So that's how you do it. That's how you get your calculator to be at the front of your screen. Alrighty.